always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5. Hey there and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Bree Groves with your News 5 update. Law enforcement continuing the annual crackdown on impaired drivers as we begin this long holiday stretch through New Year's Day. Some new numbers show that during this period last year, there were more than a thousand drunk driving fatalities on our nation's road between Thanksgiving and New Year's, including 24 in our state. And the new gondola steamboat is out of commission just days after opening to the public. The Steamboat Ski and Resort Corporation saying it's a mechanical malfunction, a reopening unknown at this time. But those famed ice castles in Dillon currently under construction. Over the next month, artists will grow and harvest up to 10,000 icicles each day to build the winter experience. It'll take a combined 4,000 hours to place those icicles by hand. In the end, the castles will be 30 feet tall and feature those color changing LED lights and Sam, I know you've lived here a few years now. You need to make it out to those ice castles. Yeah, I still haven't. I know and I want to so bad because it's already been a lot of snow out there. It's going to stay cold over towards Dillon and it's just so beautiful here in Colorado, Southern Colorado. We are above freezing today, but it's still cold 36 to 42 from Springs to Pueblo and then more of those 40s there out east into the plains. We've got an hour by hour that's pretty dry, but we will see snowfall in the San Juans run up the Continental Divide towards Lake Keystone Breckenridge in the later afternoon. And by five, six, a little bit of rain to snow, more like snow, tries to come into some of the mountain areas, western Fremont County, towards Teller County and Westcliff. But that's going to kind of leap back west fairly quick, so we're really not expecting much, if any, accumulation dry tonight with a little bit of rain and snow possible tomorrow. All that info is there at KOAA.com.